Hi, I'm Ann Gregory at the Door Store and Windows, and I'm here with my friend Ben Palmerball, who's the owner of Diggs in Chenoweth Square in St. Matthews. And we do a lot of business with them. He actually reworked the front of our building when we moved in there 15 years ago and did a lovely job. He's an architect and he has lots of beautiful wreaths for doors because we are the door store and windows. Tell us a little bit about what you can do. Well, <laughs> we sell all sorts of wreaths here at Dick's and you kind of see the, the wreath wall behind us, which has a, an assortment of things that'll, we try to keep a good stock in case people have different color doors they want something to pop out on as opposed to blending in and, and going away. So um, one of the things I was uh, showing Ann a little bit a while ago is we have some really simple kind of wreaths. This is a magnolia wreath that's uh, Faux, but uh, we, we sell a variety of uh, picks and berries and things that you can add in and change up your wreath each year. So this is sort of what it looked like before and then we've added some things in here at the bottom to show you sort of the look you can get. So you can get a, a basic wreath one year and then kind of uh, switch it out each year and get a little different look out of the same product. So I'm going to give you one little helpful hint that he gave to me. I bought this wreath, a bigger size for mine, probably six or seven years ago. Don't lay it on a shelf somewhere because mice can get at it. Even in the cleanest of homes, they'll eat it. What I do is I hang a plastic bag over it and hang it in my basement and pull it out every year. And it looks just like this six, seven years later. Have a Merry Christmas.